This is the very first episode of The Dugout. So hopefully it's going to roll out across the whole year. Myself, Jason McAteer, Brezzi, and our very first ever armchair manager who will get the opportunity to tell us what she would do if she was in charge of the Republic of Ireland football team. So a big crowd hopefully, uh, pre-match, relaxed atmosphere and some good football chat. I've been invited by three to, uh, to join them in The Dugout, which is, uh, which is set in this beautiful players' lounge. Nothing like we're used to when I was playing, but um, it's a great venue and I'm looking forward to the night. I'm here for the, the three dugout panel and I was asked to do it a few weeks ago. Kind of, I was coming to the game anyway, so, so I decided uh, to pop along and see how it goes. Um, and yeah, I'm a big football fan. I'm, I've Scottish parents who were brought up with Celtic, uh, true and true. And obviously, you know, Celtic fans and my, my parents are huge supporters. So yeah, I got massively into that side of things with the football. I had my Celtic kit and my confirmation and my communion. So yeah, big football fan. It'll be an incredible comeback. It will be an absolutely incredible comeback to come back from the start that we've had and to get enough over the two games against Sweden to qualify or at least to get into the playoffs. But strange things happen in sports. Who knows if Zlatan's actually going to be fit for both those games. And if he's out, then are Sweden still the, the amazing team that's managed to beat England the way they did just recently? So it's not beyond the bounds of possibility. It will take an absolutely momentous effort and kind of historic levels of achievement. But, you know, this is exactly the scene that is set for some of our, that new players, that new group of core leaders to emerge. And maybe, maybe a miracle is possible. We've got Sweden coming up. Um, and it's going to be a, a, t a tough, tough game. If Ibrahimovic is on form, it's going to be extremely tough. But it's nothing we we can't do. We've surprised ourselves in the past, um, you know, in years gone by, beating France, um, getting to the Euros. We didn't expect that, but we did it. And um, we can uh, hold our own at times, and, and that game is going to be crucial. And um, I think that that's what it's going to come down to, us or Sweden. I don't know, I think it's, it is like poker now at this stage, there's an element of luck involved and uh, this one poxy goal could actually turn it around. It, it's hard to say, I think you have to be positive with the game and positive with what we have.